of the heathens, man. The Lord say he coming back to take the crowns of the earth, man. So it won't be no remaining power structure uh, on the earth, man. Israel is going to reign under the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on down through the ranks, man. Read on. And then, uh, them clefts of the rocks, man. Your little harlot houses that y'all love to go uh, have catfish dinners at, man. And get your, uh, get your Sunday garbage, man. Your false philosophy, your fake doctrine pushed on you. Your Christianity, man, which is all uh, Roman Catholicism. We coming in there, man. Ain't gonna be no nowhere, no real place to hide or run to, man. You got Jake and that day gonna try to go run up in the Harlan houses and pray to Caesar, man. You might have an angel or a man of the Lord keep the door, man, just rip the whole roof off the church, so-called church, man. And slaughter everybody in there while you sitting there playing, playing, uh, praying to white Jesus, man. Right. Read the next verse. Verse 17. Grab Proverbs 5 and 4. For my eyes are upon all their ways. Yep. The, the scripture tell you in the Apocrypha that the uh, most high's eyes are 10,000 time, uh, 10, times brighter than the sun. In other words, it ain't no dark corner, no closet, nowhere you can hide where the most high ain't going to see you, man. When you go hide and think you're gonna get away with doing your wickedness, the most I see it, man. He got his angels everywhere, man. Inside your own mind itself, man. So your own wicked thoughts. You might have people that walk by and they might not say nothing verbally, but the most I hear your thoughts, your thoughts, and he take account, uh, uh, basically he take, yeah, he take account for it, and you gonna get your just judgment for that, man. Just for a thought in your mind, man. How much more for you cats to keep running your mouth, man? For you Egyptology cats that it, and they curse the most high, basically. Go ahead. For my eyes are upon all their ways, they are not hid from my face. Yep. Neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. Yep, there's no iniquity, no sin hid from the most high's eyes, man. So no matter if you think you're getting away with something, you're going to get dealt with, man. And that's the truth of the matter. The hardcore truth of it, man. You can get that. That's pretty no. much. No. It's a little bit. 5 and 21. Yeah. It's Proverbs 5 and 21. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Most High. And he pondered all his goings. Yep, he pondered all his goings, man. The Most High know what you're thinking, what you're doing, and where you're going, man. And he got your judgment already set. So y'all think y'all just getting away with stuff going back to brother brought out uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Just cause judgment don't get executed when you feel this shit happen. You do wickedness, you look over your shoulder and you like, oh, damn, I got away with it, man. I'm gonna keep committing adultery. I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep smoking. I'm gonna keep eating all these abominable foods that I know ain't, ain't, ain't uh, spiritually is gonna get my destruction and then physically, man, this food, this pork, the shellfish, these filthy creatures that you eating, they breaking your body down, man. Con. That's why you got uh, among the black community that you Jake's love so much. You yeah, his fat ankles is popular, man. Colon cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure because gout. of the diet. Yeah, gout, lupus, Con. All this is produced mm. because you going against the heavenly father and what he said not to do. It's simple as don't eat some fucking pork, man. You got all these delectable meats out there you can get, man. Yep. You got lamb, buffalo, man, way beef, better. man. Yeah, like your brother said, man, it's Lamb's lean, way. don't have as much Damn. fat, and it's healthy for you, man. You got benefits from it, man. And on top of that, quit thinking that you got to have a, a heavy diet of meat, man. That's right. right. You need your more alkaline body, then you're going to get that through eating greens, man. You got to say something? Oh, no. See, you bring that out one more time. It's Proverbs 5 and 21. Hold on. Yeah. Yo. Proverbs 5 and 21. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Most High. And he pondered all his goings. Uh, read on. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall bind, and he shall beholden with the cords 
of his sins. Yep, you are gonna uh, be held accountable for everything that you doing and speaking, man. Oh, uh, Ezekiel nine and four. If you doing wicked, you gonna get a, a judgment that's uh, that's deserving for that, man. You doing wicked your whole life, and then like you got Jake, they go to these funerals of a nigga that killed uh, other Israelites, but selling dope his whole life. That's right. And then they'll say he died before his time. He was a good man. No, he was a wicked nigga, man. That's right. He was a witch, and he deserved to die, man. Committed adultery his whole life, man. That's right. You got people that's dying today who done scoffed at the word, man. Who done heard the truth and turned on it, man. And then you got these Jakes talking about he, it wasn't his time to die. So you know something the Most High don't know? <laughs> the Most High is the one that executes the judgment for, uh, and, and make alive and kill, man. But y'all forget that when it's time for judgment because y'all deal with emotions and not uh, deal with reality and logic, man. Your emotions will get you killed, man. That's why you see Jake falling and get put to death over uh, a piece of pussy, man. Not knowing what's really going on, but you trying to uh, put on a cape and come save the day, and now you done caught two to the chest. That's right. Huh. That's a read. That's you got a precept. Read that next verse. Just bring out that next <coughs> verse and get your precept. Proverbs 5 and 23. He shall die without instruction. He shall die without instruction. Hey, <laughs> I was just talking about, man, uh, earlier uh, when I said, man, you got these people die. You don't need no reason. Hey, it's the most high judgment, man. If somebody get put to death, that's just what it is, man. Unless they died in this truth, man. Then they died for a cause, man. And the most high gonna lift them back up anyway, man. Cause you died being a faithful servant unto your debt, man. There's no greater honor, man. That's right. right. Yeah. The Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power. The Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. Man, is the power of salvation. Y'all worrying about Esau and making it in his society. The only person that's gonna save you is uh, is Yahweh, man. Why Yahweh shot? But y'all worship a black woman. Y'all worship Buddha, Amun Ra, all these crazy false gods, man. Idols that you done created with your own hands. When the Most High is the only power and he is the power of salvation. Go ahead. That was it. Uh, and unto Yahweh, the power belong the issues from death. The issues of death belong it unto the Most High, man. Like I was saying earlier, you get all these different uh, things that get uh, uh, credit for the death of somebody when it all came from the Most High. Is that uh, 2 Samuel 2 and 9? 2 and 6. 2 and 6, yeah. Yeah, yeah, finish that uh, verse in Proverbs 23. It's Proverbs 6 and 20, I mean 5 and 23. He shall die without instructions, and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. Yep. That's why uh, when the scriptures speak on, he that well wandered out of the way of uh, uh, understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. It said, in the greatness of your folly, which is your foolishness, man, all these vain, empty things that you will put your energy and life into, in the greatness of that, you'll go astray, chasing money, chasing a woman chasing that great career in a system that's going down, man. That's right. That's madness, man. It's going to lead you to go straight. So what you going to do, you going to stumble into the land of the lost, man. There ain't going to be no way out. You're not going to create some device and get your way back out of it, man. No, the most I'll let you uh, 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 wander into that uh, situation, man. And ain't no way out of it, man. Unless the most high have some more ultimate mercy on you, man. Cause you did have some cats that went off and stuff, and hey, most I had mercy on them, man, and they back doing the work and pushing the word, man. But that's up to the most high. It's not on our account that we sit here and have a council with the, the brother and lock him in a room and read a million scriptures to him. 
<laughs> and all of a sudden, he just, oh. <laughs> you had them damn, uh, the Exorcist movies and stuff. Yeah. You had this damn dude in there with a cross. He pitting it on his forehead. I ain't gonna do it on you, bro. Uh, <laughs> water, I mean, that holy water. Speaking Latin and shit, and yeah, throwing all the holy water and something in the damn yeah. chair and room, get the shaking and shit. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he opened his eyes and started sweating, and the demon then jumped off on him and running around the room. That shit crazy, man. There ain't gonna be no account like that. Most high lift a demon off of you. He just gonna take that 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 bond off of your mind, man. And open your mind back up to the proper understanding and the proper sanity. You got the yeah, the yeah. precept. The first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's first Samuel, two and six. The Most High killeth and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. Yeah, that's pretty much the point. Mm. I'm not going to some more, but that's the okay. point. The Most High killeth and make it alive, man. He's the author of, uh, of judgment, man. The author of destruction. He's the author of everything, man. There's nothing that happens that the Most High is not responsible for, man. So that's why we always give credit to the Most High. That's why we uh, exercise saying, Lord willing, because we don't know what's going to happen by uh, in the next 10 minutes, man. I don't know shit what I'ma eat tonight, man. You don't know nothing, man. All that free willed madness that, uh, that Jake like to profess and spew out his mouth, man. But you don't stop and say, damn, every time I make plans, I got something set that I want to happen, it go a different way. That's right, because the most high is in control, man. That's why you got these elites at the top right now. They think that they gonna get their uh, new world order established, but it's not gonna happen, man. Because the most high is in control. He got you in his trick bag, man. Your pride, uh, whole over die. Bring that out real quick, man. Because you got uh, people that's uh, thinking that they can get some type of exemption. Going back to, uh, uh, what's that, John 10 and 1, man, where it say, uh, you can't think that he come up, uh, up another way or through another door. You got Jake thinking they can get salvation on their own, man. Ain't gonna be no exemption unless the Most High said it for you. Go ahead. This is uh, Ezekiel 94. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. A people before a place, not talking about that land. Go ahead. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yep, that mark going back to the Hebrew, Thawa, which means exempt from judgment. And the only way is letting you read on, read the next line. Verse five. And to the others he said in my hearing. No, read up a little bit more. Okay, kind. It says, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yep. Said that the, those are the men that he gonna uh, give that pass, man. That spiritual mark uh, and exemption from judgment uh, is the when men that sigh and cry, man. All the 144,000 uh, is going to prophesy against this place, man. Those are the men, not uh, a dude that sat behind the computer and cracked jokes and played games and didn't go out and do the work, man. You're not going to get no uh, exemption for that, man. You're not going to get exemption from doing 100 debates, man. Bringing out the, uh, the most knowledge to cut Egyptologists, man. We out here crying and sighing because we hate this place, man, and we know this is a wicked kingdom that has to be destroyed, man, or it's going to be nothing left. This place is deteriorating, man. It's falling apart, man, on every level, man. That's right. Including us. We falling apart, man. Shit, man, I know I ain't the only one, man. Every time you get up, you sit down for 10 minutes, you get up, your knees popping, yep. your damn back aching. You got headaches for no damn reason. Damn, you just be walking and get a pain in your side. Man, these bodies is shit, man. You sit up here drinking and, uh, and eating poison every day, man. And no matter how you try, you're gonna get some poison in you, man. Yep. You can't avoid it, man. And it was the scripture prophesied on that, man. What's that, uh, Ezekiel? Uh, he not bread to find Yeah, to find him. You ain't gotta get it, man. If you do, make it, it do it quick. But uh, yeah, said we was gonna eat our food to follow amongst the Gentiles, man. You can't escape prophecy, man. 
But go ahead, bro. I'm getting too far off the point, man. Uh, this is verse, verse 5. And to the others, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon who is the mark. Begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Yeah, and that's the point I wanted earlier, man. The main thing is, yeah, man, that scripture self-explanatory, man, towards the end, letting you know that the only one that's going to get that exemption is the men that, uh, that got that mark, man. That's exempt from judgment, man, because they did the will of the Heavenly Father until that time came, man. They didn't pull BS, man. They didn't be a, a, a sluggard, man. The scriptures speak about a slothful man. The most high is not dealing with a sloth with slothful men, man. He's dealing with men who are willing to put their line on uh, uh, on the uh, their life on the line for their faith, man, and what they believe is gonna come to pass, man. Which is the destruction and deliverance, man. Dad, you hold on something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how you had, man, yeah. Just continuing on what the brother uh, brought out, uh, what he started with, now it's high time to wake out of sleep, you know? And seeing that all these things are about to be dissolved, man, that Jehovah Shai is about to come back to destroy all this, man, what man of men are we to be, you know? I bring that up to say this, you know, amongst brethren, amongst the elect, we got to get focused. This ain't the time to be the man that's, you know, wavering, leaning to the left or to the right, bull corny, just all around fucking off. Now it is high time to wake out of sleep, man. We just had the Passover. We're in the, we're in the uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. You got you, you got men that's in this truth that's slacking. And that's the, hey, the the spirit has been on that man. So it's something you know. It's something to that. The apostles spoke on it. The brothers in Dallas did a sit down on it. You know. It's time to come, man. It's time to go hard with this truth. As, as Apostle Tahar put it, you should be in overdrive and stay in overdrive. This ain't the time to be, you know, Satan out there, he's going to throw all kind of distractions at you. The prince, the prince of this world, which is Satan, is in power. He don't want you to get focused. He don't want you to hunker down in this truth. He don't want you to have that that, that laser light, you know, just focus into this truth, man, and be on fire. He wants you out here distracted, fucking off. You know, again, I bring this up a lot, but again, just like Morpheus showed Neo in the Matrix. Neo has stopped to look at the woman in red. Then the next thing you know, he got a gun to his head. And that's how it is in this truth, man. Just a split second distraction, it can have you throw it off, man. Because we're in this weak flesh. So being in this weak flesh, you, you got to go over these scriptures, man, day in and day out. Scriptures that, that we call the milk. Yeah, you could easily forget the milk. You got to keep going over that. You got to keep going over these scriptures. There's nothing in this truth that you can take for granted. The most I don't need any of us. Nothing to be taken for granted, man. This is a gift. This is a gift. And the most high, he could be, quote unquote, an Indian gift. Because we done seen, we done seen the most high put the spirit on brothers and then take it back. So so it ain't like this a thing that, oh, I'm in the camp, 
I know these scriptures. I know the breakdowns. I understand the prophecies. I'm good. You ain't never good in this.